In mathematics and in theoretical physics, the Stone von Neumann theorem is any one of a number of different formulations of the uniqueness of the canonical commutation relations between position and momentum operators. The name is for Marshall Stone and John von Neumann. 1931. Topic: <laughs> Representation issues of the commutation relations. In quantum mechanics, physical observables are represented mathematically by linear operators on Hilbert spaces. For a single particle moving on the real line R, there are two important observables, position and momentum. In the Schrödinger representation quantum description of such a particle, the position operator X and momentum operator P are respectively given by X psi x 0 equals x 0 psi x 0 display style x psi x underscore 0 equals x underscore 0 psi x underscore 0 p psi x 0 equals minus i psi x x 0 display style p psi x underscore 0 equals i h b a r f r a c partial psi partial x x underscore 0 on the domain V of infinitely differentiable functions of compact support on R assumed to be a fixed non-zero real number in quantum theory is up to a factor of 2 pi Planck's constant, which is not dimensionless, it takes a small numerical value in terms of action units of the macroscopic world. The operators x, p satisfied the canonical commutation relation Lie algebra x P equals x p minus p x equals i. Display style x p equals x p p x equals i h b a r. Already in his classic book, Hermann Weyl observed that this commutation law was impossible to satisfy for linear operators p, x acting on finite dimensional spaces unless vanishes. This is apparent from taking the trace over both sides of the latter equation and using the relation trace a b equals trace b a, the left-hand side is zero, the right-hand side is non-zero. Further analysis shows that, in fact, any two self-adjoint operators satisfying the above commutation relation cannot be both bounded. For notational convenience, the nonvanishing square root of may be absorbed into the normalization of p and x, so that, effectively, it is replaced by 1. We assume this normalization in what follows. The idea of the stone Von Neumann theorem is that any two irreducible representations of the canonical commutation relations are unitarily equivalent. Since, however, the operators involved are necessarily unbounded as noted above, there are tricky domain issues that allow for counter-examples. To obtain a rigorous result, one must require that the operators satisfy the exponentiated form of the canonical commutation relations, known as the Weyl relations. Although, as noted below, these relations are formally equivalent to the standard canonical commutation relations, this equivalence is not rigorous, because again, of the unbounded nature of the operators. There is also a discrete analogue of the Weyl relations, which can hold in a finite dimensional space, namely Sylvester's clock and shift matrices in the finite Heisenberg group, discussed below. <laughs> <laughs> Uniqueness of representation 
One would like to classify representations of the canonical commutation relation by two self-adjoint operators acting on separable Hilbert spaces, up to unitary equivalence. By Stone's theorem, there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between self-adjoint operators and strongly continuous one-parameter unitary groups. Let Q and P be two self-adjoint operators satisfying the canonical commutation relation, Q, P, equals I, and S and T two real parameters. Introduce EITQ and EISP, the corresponding unitary groups given by functional calculus, for the explicit operators X and P defined above, these are multiplication by EXP and pullback by translation XX plus S, a formal computation using a special case of the baker campbell hausdorff formula readily yields E I T Q E I S P equals E minus I S T E I S P E I T Q display style e caret i t q e caret i s p equals e caret east e caret i s p e caret i t q. Conversely, given two one-parameter unitary groups U t and verses satisfying the braiding relation, formally differentiating at zero shows that the two infinitesimal generators satisfy the above canonical commutation relation. This braiding formulation of the canonical commutation relations CCR for one-parameter unitary groups is called the whale form of the CCR. It is important to note that the preceding derivation is purely formal. Since the operators involved are unbounded, technical issues prevent application of the baker campbell hausdorff formula without additional domain assumptions. Indeed, there exist operators satisfying the canonical commutation relation but not the whale relations E1. Nevertheless, in good cases, we expect that operators satisfying the canonical commutation relation will also satisfy the whale relations. The problem thus becomes classifying two jointly irreducible one-parameter unitary groups U T and verses which satisfy the whale relation on separable Hilbert spaces. The answer is the content of the Stone von Neumann theorem. All such pairs of one parameter unitary groups are unitarily equivalent. In other words, for any two such U T and verses acting jointly irreducibly on a Hilbert space H, there is a unitary operator W, L2 R H so that W U T W equals e i t x and w v s w equals e i s p Display style W carrot asterisk U T W equals E carrot I T X quad M box and quad W carrot asterisk V S W equals E carrot I S P where P and X are the explicit position and momentum operators from earlier. When W is U in this equation, so, then, in the X representation, it is evident that P is unitarily equivalent to E minus ITQ P E ITQ equals P plus T, and the spectrum of P must range along the entire real line. The analog argument holds for Q. There is also a straightforward extension of the Stone von Neumann theorem to n degrees of freedom. 
Historically, this result was significant, because it was a key step in proving that Heisenberg's matrix mechanics, which presents quantum mechanical observables and dynamics in terms of infinite matrices, is unitarily equivalent to Schrödinger's wave mechanical formulation see Schrödinger picture U T psi x equals E I T X Psi X V S Psi X equals Psi X plus S Display style U T psi x equals E carrot I T x psi x q quad versus psi x equals psi x plus s. Topic Representation theory formulation In terms of representation theory, the Stone von Neumann theorem classifies certain unitary representations of the Heisenberg group. This is discussed in more detail in the Heisenberg group section, below. Informally stated, with certain technical assumptions, every representation of the Heisenberg group H2n plus 1 is equivalent to the position operators and momentum operators on Rn. Alternatively, that they are all equivalent to the Weyl algebra or CCR algebra on a symplectic space of dimension 2n. More formally, there is a unique up to scale non-trivial central strongly continuous unitary representation. This was later generalized by Mackey theory and was the motivation for the introduction of the Heisenberg group in quantum physics. In detail, the continuous Heisenberg group is a central extension of the abelian Lie group R2n by a copy of R. The corresponding Heisenberg algebra is a central extension of the abelian Lie algebra R2n with trivial bracket by a copy of R. The discrete Heisenberg group is a central extension of the free abelian group Z2n by a copy of Z, and the discrete Heisenberg group modulo P is a central extension of the free abelian P group Z, P, Z, 2n by a copy of Z, P, Z. These are thus all semidirect product, and hence relatively easily understood. In all cases, if one has a representation H2n plus 1a, where a is an algebra and the center maps to zero, then one simply has a representation of the corresponding abelian group or algebra, which is Fourier theory. If the center does not map to zero, one has a more interesting theory, particularly if one restricts oneself to central representations. Concretely, by a central representation one means a representation such that the center of the Heisenberg group maps into the center of the algebra, for example, if one is studying matrix representations or representations by operators on a Hilbert space, then the center of the matrix algebra or the operator algebra is the scalar matrices. Thus the representation of the center of the Heisenberg group is determined by a scale value, called the quantization value in physics terms, Planck's constant, and if this goes to zero, one gets a representation of the abelian group in physics terms, this is the classical limit. More formally, the group algebra of the Heisenberg group over its field of scalars k, written k h, has center k r, so rather than simply thinking of the group algebra as an algebra over the field k, one may think of it as an algebra over the commutative algebra k r. As the center of a matrix algebra or operator algebra is the scalar matrices, a k r structure on the matrix algebra is a choice of scalar matrix, a choice of scale. Given such a choice of scale, a central representation of the Heisenberg group is a map of k r algebras k h a, which is the formal way of saying that it sends the center to a chosen scale. 
Then the Stone von Neumann theorem is that, given the standard quantum mechanical scale, effectively, the value of h, every strongly continuous unitary representation is unitarily equivalent to the standard representation with position and momentum. Reformulation via Fourier transform Let G be a locally compact abelian group and G caret be the Pontryagin dual of G the Fourier Plancherel transform defined by F F caret gamma equals G gamma T F T D mu T display style f mapsto hat f gamma equals int underscore g overline gamma t f t d mu t extends to a c asterisk isomorphism from the group c asterisk algebra c asterisk g of g and c o g caret i e the spectrum of c asterisk g is precisely g caret when G is the real line R, this is Stone's theorem characterizing one-parameter unitary groups. The theorem of Stone von Neumann can also be restated using similar language. The group G acts on the C asterisk algebra C O G by right translation rho, for S in G and F in C O G S F T equals F T plus S display style S C D O T F T equals F T plus S. Under the isomorphism given above, this action becomes the natural action of G on C asterisk G caret S F caret gamma equals gamma s f caret gamma display style wide hat s c d o t f gamma equals gamma s hat f gamma so a covariant representation corresponding to the c asterisk crossed product c g caret rho Carrot G display style c carrot asterisk hat G R times underscore hat rho G is a unitary representation us of G and V gamma of G carrot such that U S V gamma U S equals gamma s v gamma display style u s v gamma u caret asterisk s equals gamma s v gamma it is a general fact that covariant representations are in one to one correspondence with asterisk representation of the corresponding crossed product on the other hand all irreducible representations of C zero G Rho G Display style C underscore zero G R times underscore Rho G are unitarily equivalent to the K L two G Display style math call K L carrot two G the compact operators on L2 G. Therefore, all pairs us, v, gamma are unitarily equivalent. Specializing to the case where G equals R yields the Stone-Von Neumann theorem. Equals. <laughs> <laughs>
Topic the Heisenberg group equals the above canonical commutation relations for P, Q are identical to the commutation relations that specify the Lie algebra of the general Heisenberg group Hn for n a positive integer. This is the Lie group of n plus two times n plus two square matrices of the form M a b c equals one a c o one n b o o one display style mathrm M a b c equals begin b matrix one and a and c zero and one underscore n and b zero and zero and one end b matrix. In fact, using the Heisenberg group, one can reformulate the Stone von Neumann theorem in the language of representation theory. Note that the center of Hn consists of matrices M 0, 0, C. However, this center is not the identity operator in Heisenberg's original CCRs. The Heisenberg group lie algebra generators, e.g. for n equals 1, air p equals 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 Q equals 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 Zero zero Z equals zero O one O O O O O O Display style P equals begin B matrix zero and one and zero zero and zero and zero zero and zero and zero end B matrix Q quad Q equals begin B matrix zero and zero and zero zero and zero and one zero and zero and zero end B matrix Q quad Z equals begin B matrix zero and zero and one zero and zero and zero 0 and 0 and 0 end B matrix and the central generator Z topic log M 0 0 1 exp Z minus 1 is not the identity theorem for each non-zero real number h there is an irreducible representation a acting on the Hilbert space L2 Rn by U H M A B C psi x equals E I B X plus H C Psi X plus H A Display style left U underscore H Mathem M A B C right Psi X equals E carrot I B C D O T X plus H C Psi X plus Ha all these representations are unitarily inequivalent, and any irreducible representation which is not trivial on the center of Hn is unitarily equivalent to exactly one of these. Note that A is a unitary operator because it is the composition of two operators which are easily seen to be unitary, the translation to the left by Ha and multiplication by a function of absolute value 1. To show U is multiplicative is a straightforward calculation. The hard part of the theorem is showing the uniqueness. This claim, nevertheless, follows easily from the Stone von Neumann theorem as stated above. We will sketch below a proof of the corresponding Stone von Neumann theorem for certain finite Heisenberg groups. In particular, irreducible representations π, π of the Heisenberg group Hn which are non-trivial on the center of Hn are unitarily equivalent if and only if π z equals π z for any z in the center of Hn. 
One representation of the Heisenberg group which is important in number theory and the theory of modular forms is the theta representation, so named because the Jacobi theta function is invariant under the action of the discrete subgroup of the Heisenberg group. <laughs> Relation to the Fourier transform For any non-zero h, the mapping alpha h m a b c m minus h minus one b h a c minus B display style alpha underscore h mathrm m a b c to mathrm m left h caret minus one b ha c a c d o t b right is an automorphism of H n, which is the identity on the center of H n. In particular, the representations a and a alpha are unitarily equivalent. This means that there is a unitary operator W on L2 Rn such that, for any G in Hn W U H G W equals U H alpha G Display style wu underscore h g w caret asterisk equals u underscore h alpha g. Moreover, by irreducibility of the representations a, it follows that up to a scalar, such an operator w is unique. Cf. Schur's lemma. Since w is unitary, this scalar multiple is uniquely determined, and hence such an operator w is unique. Theorem. The operator W is the Fourier transform on L2 Rn. This means that, ignoring the factor of 2 pi n, 2 in the definition of the Fourier transform, R n e minus i x p e i b x plus h c psi x plus h a d x equals e i h a p plus H C minus B a R N E minus I Y P minus B psi Y D Y Display style int underscore math bf r carrot n e carrot x c d o t p e carrot i b c d o t x plus h c psi x plus ha d x equals e carrot i ha c d o t p plus h c b c d o t a int underscore math bf r carrot n e carrot i y c d o t p b psi y die this theorem has the immediate implication that the Fourier transform is unitary, also known as the Plancherel theorem. Moreover, alpha h two m a b c equals m minus a minus B C 
Display style alpha underscore H carrot two mathem M A B C equals mathem M A B C theorem. The operator W one such that W one U H W one equals U H alpha 2 G display style W underscore 1 u underscore H W underscore 1 carrot asterisk equals u underscore H alpha carrot 2 G is the reflection operator W 1 psi X equals psi minus x display style w underscore 1 psi x equals psi x from this fact the fourier inversion formula easily follows topic example the siegel bargmann space The Siegel Bargmann space is the space of holomorphic functions on Cn that are square integrable with respect to a Gaussian measure. Fock observed in 1920s that the operators A J equals Z J A J equals Z J display style a underscore J equals frac partial partial Z underscore J Q quad a underscore J carrot asterisk equals Z underscore J acting on holomorphic functions satisfy the same commutation relations as the usual annihilation and creation operators, namely a J a k equals delta j k display style left a underscore j a underscore k caret asterisk right equals delta underscore j k. In 1961, Bargman showed that a j is actually the adjoint of a j with respect to the inner product coming from the Gaussian measure. By taking appropriate linear combinations of a j and a j, one can then obtain position and momentum operators satisfying the canonical commutation relations. It is not hard to show that the exponentials of these operators satisfy the Weyl relations and that the exponentiated operators act irreducibly. The Stone von Neumann theorem therefore applies and implies the existence of a unitary map from L2 Rn to the Siegel Bargmann space that intertwines the usual annihilation and creation operators with the operators Aj and Aj. This unitary map is the Siegel Bargmann transform. <laughs> Representations of finite Heisenberg groups The Heisenberg group H n k is defined for any commutative ring k. In this section, let us specialize to the field k equals z p z for p a prime. This field has the property that there is an embedding omega of k as an additive group into the circle group T. Note that H n k is finite with cardinality k 2 n plus 1. For finite Heisenberg group H n k, one can give a simple proof of the Stone von Neumann theorem using simple properties of character functions of representations. These properties follow from the orthogonality relations for characters of representations of finite groups. For any non-zero h in k define the representation a on the finite dimensional inner product space 2 k n by U H M A B C 
psi x equals omega b x plus h c psi x plus h a Display style U underscore H mathem M A B C psi x equals Omega B C D O T X plus H C psi x plus ha theorem. For a fixed non zero H, the character function chi of a is given by chi M A B C equals K N Omega H C if a equals B equals O O otherwise display style chi mathem M A B C equals begin cases K carrot N Omega H C and text if a equals B equals zero zero and text otherwise end cases it follows that one H N K G element of H N K chi G Two equals one k two n plus one k two n k equals one. Display style frac one h underscore n math bf k sum underscore g in h underscore n k chi g caret two equals frac one k caret two n plus one k caret two n k equals one. By the orthogonality relations for characters of representations of finite groups this fact implies the corresponding Stone von Neumann theorem for Heisenberg groups Hn Z, P, Z, particularly irreducibility of a pairwise inequivalence of all the representations a actually all irreducible representations of Hn K on which the center acts non trivially arise in this way Topic Generalizations The Stone von Neumann theorem admits numerous generalizations. Much of the early work of George Mackey was directed at obtaining a formulation of the theory of induced representations developed originally by Frobenius for finite groups to the context of unitary representations of locally compact topological groups equals equals see also